What is up, Music Club? This is Jamie coming to you with yet another war recap video. Last recap video we did was uh, Music Club versus Sergei Army, where we tied 75 75, but we won on the damage percentage. The next war that we ended up doing was Music Club versus Zach Pog. I believe it was a Russian clan. Uh, we ended up winning 86 79, but as you can see, the details are not available, so we cannot do a war recap video from that war, but. Uh, was a pretty nice war by the music club so we're gonna carry on to this last war which was music club versus SSP this uh, really <laughs> wasn't too close a war I they had a lot of rushed town hall tens I want to say they had they had 15 town hall tens to R3 um, so, yeah, it was a really interesting war. They were terrible attackers, and uh, we ended up kind of crushing them. So, Music Club versus SSP, 89-45. Let's look at a couple of uh, recaps from that war. First one I've got here, I believe, is number 10. Geo coming in with a nice go-ho on number 10. The th three golem attack that uh, Geo kind of really likes to rock. Sending in those three golems. The wizard's behind that. The the king and the archer queen are already in. Uh, dealing with that lava hound in the clan castle. So he's got that rage spell for the lava hound. Really goes down in a hurry with uh, those wizards taking down all the pups now. The pups are targeting the golems. The queen is in targeting the pups. The... The wizards are targeting the pops, and now from that kind of left-hand side, he's done a two-finger drop with those hogs. He's got a couple of poison spells for the skeleton traps, and he's get those hogs out nice and early out in front. Or sorry, the heels out nice and early in front. Hogs passing through the base. Standing in that heel for quite a while, so pretty good. Hits that giant bomb, so... It Almost loses a bunch of those hogs, but as they continue to pass through the base, they're just going into this next heal. He dropped that poison spell to try and uh, get rid of some of those skeleton traps. And this is the hogs turn around and finish off this last defensive structure of that wizard tower. They kill the skeletons off, and it is just cleanup time. Hogs whipping around the base. He's got a couple of goblins in there, some wizards, the barbarian king, and the archer queen still at full health. Beautiful three star there by Geo. I think Geo rocked this war with another three star in this one, but uh, I don't have that one set for replay. But really great war, Geo. You've been doing really well. This next attack, Willie taking on number 11. Willie coming in here with uh, a go ho. Gets the clan castle lure, so the dragon, a couple of archers. Drops the poison spell down right there in the base. Should take down the archers and really soften up that dragon. Waits for that poison spell to run out a bit. And starts to lure the dragon. Oh, he drops the two poison spells. I forgot about this. Two poison spells on that dragon. So that dragon is going to be finished. With that uh, extra donation of the spells now. And you're able to drop the two poison spells. There's really nothing in the clan castle that can't be killed with those two poison spells. Except for maybe the lava hound. So dragon goes down. Archers go down. Now he's bringing in the golems. The barbarian king, the archer queen from the bottom there. They're all going to get up there and try and target that uh, enemy archer queen. And possibly the barbarian king. Golem's still pretty healthy in there. Barbarian King right behind. So those Golem's tanking nicely for the heroes and the wizards. Drops that jump spell so that these guys are heading right in there. I think the enemy Archer Queen is down. The enemy Barbarian King is now down. And in come the Hogs. Hogs coming in there from the right. Still has three heal spells in the bag. So lets those Hogs pass through the base a little bit. Drops that heal spell out nicely in front, so the hogs, again, it's all about the dropping of the heal spells, keeping those hogs as long as you can in those heal spells. Heal spell placement, really helpful. Again, the next heal spell out in front of those hogs. He's already started to drop 
uh, Wizards on the back end to start cleaning up areas where he knows that the defensive structures are already down. Uh, Hogs taking down that Expo and drops his last heal. So these Hogs are coming down to the back side there. Take down the skeletons that were following them and they're turning around to clean up. He's got his Barbarian, or Barbarian King went down, but the Archer Queen's, of course, banging on a wall, which is what she does. And the Hogs and the Wizards are cleaning up. Nice three-star attack as we speed this up. Willy, great job. Uh, next attack ahead was 14. 14 was Hydro. Hydro with this three star on a town hall 10 of course it's a really bad town hall 10 um three expos no inferno tower really rushed as you can tell coming in from the bottom he's got his golems he's got his uh, barbarian king archer queen's already in wizards in the backside. he has that jump spell so the golems are starting to head right into that big open juicy core of the base Golem's in there tanking. He's got some wizards in behind. The Barbarian King unfortunately goes for a bit of a walk. But uh, with all those golems, the wizards and the archer queen in the core, they can do a lot of damage. Still hasn't dropped his hogs yet. Um, those wizards going up the right side are going to get toasted by that uh, wizard tower. Drops the poison spells down for those dragons and the balloons right down on top of the town hall. They go down. Golem's still out tanking in front. I think he's lost most of his wizards in the core. But now he drops his hogs in from the right hand side. They're coming in sort of on the back end and they should path through the base nicely because all that left, or the bottom side of that base was already taken out by his first kill squad. Hogs just coming in on the back side. Standing in heels, he has already started dropping in the wizards over there on the right side to start cleaning up that area. As we look up at the top, again, hogs standing in heels as they go around and clean up these last couple of defensive structures. That golem is tanking, so they've got the wizard tower and the cannon targeting the golem. Uh, the only defense he's got left is those two cannons up there at the top. So the hogs and the golem are heading up there for the cannons. They make quick work of these single point defenses. They go down, the hogs turn and kill the skeleton traps, and it is just cleanup time. Again, the hogs, the archers, the... I don't know, I don't see any wizards left. They whip around, clean up this base. Nice three-star attack there by Hydro. Next one I hit was 15, Cho. Cho coming in here with a nice three-star attack. He brings in the go, the go we wipe. Three golems out there in front, a whack of wall breakers to uh, open up the base. Now this is a little bit more of a, I don't know if I, don't know if you can call it a little bit more max town hall ten, but it does have the inferno tower, so that's always just a little bit scarier. Inferno Tower targeting the golems and Pekka's out front. He drops a haste and a poison spell, I believe, there. So everything is... and a jump. So everything's going right in there. They target that Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower goes down and still has almost all his troops there right in the core of the base. It's big main kill squad and they're just whipping through everything. Nice beefy Pekka's golems. That level 30 Archer Queen, which is always a nice thing to have, does, does such so much DPS. Um, as long as you can keep those golems out in front of her, she's just a beast as far as taking down all these uh, all these structures. Witch is still going through, uh, grouped up with some some wizards, so those skeletons are tanking nicely for the wizards. Golems. Going around looking for some uh, defense as well. Where are these guys going? They've got to get into that uh, hidden Tesla and the Archer Tower. Queen targets the Archer Tower. Archer Tower goes down, so the Golems now head up to the top of the base for those uh, Archer Towers and the hidden Teslas up at the top. With still two Pekkas, his uh, Archer Queen, 
witches and wizards. You already know this is going to be a three-star attack. As these guys whip up here, we start to fast-forward it just a bit. And it is a nice three-star attack here by Cho. 16. Arrow. Arrow coming in here with the Goho attack. Town Hall on the outside there. Uh, golems coming in out in front. Wizards behind. Again, seems to be the the most successful attack at uh, we're having the most luck with right now is the Gohos. I know the La Gola Loons is working well too, but a lot of these uh, nice three-star attacks are these Goho attacks. Kill Squad comes in there, takes out the enemy Archer Queen, still uh, tanking for a lot of these Hogs. The Hogs are coming in now on that bottom side. Encounter a Tesla farm, so he drops the heal spell down there. They take out the Tesla farm, they take out the Wizard Tower. Um, then they start to head up through the rest of the base. There's still quite a few Hogs there. The Expos are targeting the Golems. The Hogs are still taking out the Expo there. They turn and take out the Wizard Tower. All that's left is those cannons and the Archer Tower there on the left. And there is still maybe seven or eight Hogs. They turn and take out oh, Giant Bomb. Doesn't get the Hogs. They get the last defensive structure, and with the Wizards and the Hogs, and it still has that level 5 Golem that hasn't turned into a Golemite, they turn around this extra 30 seconds that we get in war. Lots of time. Nice 3-star attack there by Arrow. And what did I have next? 16. I just did 16. 20. 20 was Encore. Encore coming in here with the Goho attack. Two golems out front. Wizards behind. I think he's got the third golem in the clan castle. Drops that jump spell to get those golems right. Oh, he doesn't have the golems. He has Valks. <clears throat> so the Valks heading into this base. Gets that nice wide funnel with the wizards so that the Valks make sure that they go into that base. Um, drops that poison spell down for the clan castle troops, so the dragon's under the poison. He's already he dropped a couple of wall breakers on the backside. It's tough to see where those Valks are in there, but uh, <laughs> there's just so much going on in there. Um, the Barbarian King and the Valks, I think, are on the town hall, and he's dropped in the hogs from that right side. They're standing in heal. His... Valks and, uh, and Barbarian King are now down. But these big group of hogs are coming in here. He's got another heal spell in the bag for these guys. So he's going to drop it a little bit higher. These hogs tart or path into the top of the base. He drops his heal spell down. They've got a couple of skeleton traps working on these hogs. He drops in his Archer Queen now at the bottom side. Still has maybe seven or eight hogs in there. Wizard Tower is tough, but the Archer Queen steps up and takes down that Wizard Tower. The Archer Queen is now turning on that Expo. Takes out the Expo, uses the Hidden Cloak, and takes out that Wizard Tower, or sorry, the Archer Tower. All he has left here is his Archer Queen, the archers that she generated, and that one wizard over there to the right. Now this is an attack that probably does not get three starred uh, a week ago before the update. But with that extra 30 seconds, he's got a lot more time. That this archer queen, the archers, the wizard can walk around this base and get this done. Uh, so probably uses the full time on this. Archer Queen making her way to the outside. That wizard's still doing some some uh, nice work. 100% attack. Nice job, Encore. Probably didn't go exactly as you planned because it took a little bit long time, but nice job on that three-star there. And the last attack I think I had here was number 26. 
26 with Dan the Man. Dan the Man coming in here with almost a straight hog attack on a Town Hall 9. So we've got the Expos to deal with, which is, you know, a lot of times you like the Golems in there for the Expos. But gets the Clan Castle Lure. He triggered a giant bomb over there on the right with the Lure. Drops the Poison down for the, the Dragon and the Archers. Archers go down in a hurry. Archers are almost down. There's another giant bomb that was just triggered by that wizard. Dragon's still standing in that poison. Uses a couple too many wizards maybe to take out that dragon. If you try and get a couple of de distraction troops in there, uh, ends up working out a little better, but here come the hogs. So the hogs being tar targeted by those expos, they're not uh, level 3 expos or anything, but a big group of hogs coming in here has the heal spells out in front so that the hogs are standing in the heal spells again they're just passing nicely through the base and he's already got wizards on the back end to start cleaning up all the the remaining buildings has the one heal spell left and look at all those hogs still alive he just had so many hogs just a big wall of hogs walking, walking right through the base uh, take down that wizard tower and I think he's got that, there's a level 2 Archer Queen that's banging on his hogs there. Um, but didn't seem to have to worry about that Archer Queen, you know, so often when you get the higher level heroes, you're trying to take out the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King. Hogs turn around and take out the enemy Barbarian King, they take out that uh, Dark Elixir Storage, they get right to the Archer Queen, and she goes down in just a hurry, it's just a level 2 Archer Queen. Has a lot of hogs left, his Barbarian King, his... Uh, it's got a wizard on the left side, and these hogs just trail right around the base, cleaning up. They go into the base, take out the town hall, and a couple of storages, and it is a nice three-star attack by Dan the Man. And with that, that's the end of this war recap video. Again, great job, Music Club. It was... Uh, not the best opponent that we've had in a while again. So many rushed bases, really bad attackers. And uh, we got most of our, we got 67 of the 70 attacks in. So pretty good job of most of us guys getting our attacks in. We are in our next war already and doing really well. So I hope to have a next war recap video tomorrow on uh, this next war we're in. And with that, this is Jamie signing out from the Music Club.